In the previous video, we were learning about this decorated design pattern and because this design pattern is little bit logical, so I have planned to create one more video as an example of this design pattern. So if you are new to this decorated design pattern, then I would suggest to watch the first video, the previous video of this same design pattern series. And now let's talk about the second example of this decorated design pattern. So as per this example, let's say I want to start one cafe and that cafe will sell only the beverages. So as of now, we are having only two beverages. First is the tea and second one is the coffee. And if you are having this very basic scenario, then let's understand how can we implement this in our application so here i can create one interface i beverage and i can have two classes the concrete implementations which is going to be tea and the coffee and my work is done but now because everything is working fine the cafe is doing well so i want to add more functionalities over here as of now we are selling only the plain tea and the plain coffee but i want to add some more functionalities for example i want to have tea with sugar and tea with milk tea with some other features and there are some customers who are saying that I need the tea only with sugar. There are some who are saying I need coffee with milk. So I want to have all these possible combinations in this application. So what we are having, we are having only two beverages. One is tea, coffee. There are three additional decorations over here. One is the sugar, milk and third is maybe some lemon. So just focus on how many possible combinations will be there and each specific thing has its own cost. So for example, if I talk about the plain tea, then it has a cost, let's say $1. Then if I want to add milk also, then again, it will cost me $1.5. So in that scenario, the cost should be 2.5. Again, if I'm adding sugar also, then the cost should be a little bit increased as per that scenario. So all these possible scenarios we have to handle in this application. So if we are having a separate class for all these implementations, then we will have to think, are we going in the right direction? Because we are having so many classes at this point. And tomorrow just think that if I want to introduce one more beverage and with so many other decorators, then what will happen to my application? There will be a jungle of all these subclasses and maintaining all those things is totally impossible. So how can we fix that problem? Again, we can fix by using this decorator design pattern. Let's divide the same situation as per the decorator design pattern. So as per the decorator design pattern, we are having two things. First is the component and second is the decorator. So what is the component in this scenario? The component is that plain tea and plain coffee, which is fine. What is the decorator in this scenario? We are having as of now three decorator. One is sugar, milk and lemon. So we will create separate implementations for all of them and then we will combine everything by using the decorator design pattern and let's understand how things will work. Okay, so first I'm gonna create a new class over here again with name some component and over here I'm gonna create one interface. This interface is going to be I beverage. I'm having this I beverage interface. It has two methods. One is the cost and the description. Every additional thing that I want to add, that will be a decorator. So if I'm having the plain tea, then the description would be only the plain tea. If I'm having plain tea with sugar, then the description would be plain tea with sugar. Okay, so let's have our two implementations, the concrete implementations. So this is our first implementation and let's update the name. So here I'm gonna have some coffee and the cost would be, let's say two, two dollar. And here I'm having this coffee or here I'm having maybe this plain coffee. That's the description. Now let's have one more and this time I'm gonna have a tea. So this is the T and the cost is one. And what is the description? It is going to be. So let's talk about first this basic scenario also. So in my program.cs class, if I create the instance of maybe a T, so how can I do that? I beverage or beverage is equals to maybe T, not the coffee, which is fine. So on this beverage interface, if I want to call these two methods, the cost and the description, then you will notice that as of now, we are having only one method. This is the plain one and we will get that same output. So let's run this application and see what is the obvious output. So he can notice that the cost is one and the description is this plain T. And similarly, if I want to go with the coffee, then you will notice that we will get the same, uh, the cost and the description from the coffee and which is this cost is two and the description is this plain coffee. Now let's talk about some decorators. So let's create one more class over here and I'm gonna name it as decorators like this. So in this decorator, first we have to create that wrapper which is going to be the abstract class. So abstract class, this is going to be the decorator. So we will implement it from that I beverage and we will get this I beverage as a parameter in the constructor just like we are doing over here. 
but because we can use the primary constructor now so i will use that primary constructor i will remove both of them over here and there are two methods in this i beverage interface so we will implement both of them let's do that here and we are not making them abstract let's implement them first what we can return beverage dot cost and let's return the description also over here but because this class will act just as an wrapper so there will be some more decorator in real time that will implement this decorator let's use the virtual keyword over here because the child classes will override these methods this wrapper is ready now now let's get our first wrapper which is going to be the milk one so in this milk what we are having we are getting this i beverage as the constructor parameter and we are inheriting it from this decorator this one that we have just created okay so what we are doing over here we are basically overriding both the methods how so whatever data you will get from the base i want to add the cost of the milk for example the cost of the milk is let's say 0.5 so i'm adding that over here and the description whatever data we are getting from the base i will append the milk over here right now let's create one more over here this is for the sugar the cost is 0.2 and the description is this with sugar let's create one more maybe the lemon decorator the cost is 0.3 for the lemon and the description is this with lemon now the beverage with plain coffee and plain tea is also ready and we are having all the decorators also in place so now let's call these decorators over here so what i will do we are having this beverage and now i want to add milk over here and let's run this application and see how things will work this time so i'm having a plain tea on that plain tea i'm having only one milk decorator so if i will run this application let's see what is the cost and what is the title okay so in the first line the cost is one and the description is this plain tea so the cost of plain tea is one now in the next line after executing this seventh line we are displaying the message again over here and what we are having this time the cost is this 1.5 and the description is this plain tea with milk if i want to have more decorators over here with sugar maybe then this time you can notice that we are having the cost as per the thing that we are adding so the cost of sugar is 0.2 that is why we are having 1.7 that's the description first we are having this plain tea milk and then the sugar let's call our last one also which is the uh, lemon decorator and if you will run this application this time then you will notice that we are getting the proper cost and the proper description over here now the best part of this decorator design pattern is that you can call them in any order so for example if i want to call it on the plain t then this time as per this order that we are defining over here you will get our message so how it is working see first we are having this plain t and then we are having plain t with lemon next plain t with lemon with milk and then we are having this plain t with lemon and the milk and the sugar so this is how you can use the decorator design pattern if you really want to understand this decorator design pattern then i would suggest you to write all these functionalities this basic example in your visual studio one by one by yourself and just try to debug that how things are working in that scenario this is a real world example and you will see that there are so many scenarios similar to this one in all those scenarios you can use this decorated design pattern and i hope your application will be robust flexible and there will be so much space to add new functionalities over there if you have any doubt or question please ask everything in the comment section and like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching have a great day